Sarah, as soon as I saw you I knew it was going to be the start of my favorite chapter of my life. And soon after, I knew I wanted you and the rest of them. When we first met, I didn't say a lot, because I was scared you'd find out how big of a weirdo I was. But soon I saw I found a kindred spirit. We're both weirdos, and when we find someone who's compatible with our own weirdness, we join up in mutual weirdness and we call that love. I make these promises to you. I will be your umbrella when life rains down on you, to be your pillow when you need rest. I promise to bring out the best in you because you bring out the best in me. I promise to be the man you deserve. I promise to encourage you to be your best. I promise to be your goofball making you laugh. I promise to comfort you in times of struggle. And lastly, I promise to show you every day exactly how lucky I am to have you in my life. Zach, you came into my life at exactly the right time, when I was not ready, and yet, when I needed your love the most. You have been patient with me when I am not patient with myself. You have encouraged me when I was at some of my lowest points. From the first time I saw you on that blind date, I knew you were different, not just because you were covered head to toe in grain dust, but you had this look in your eyes that I will never forget. Although I was afraid of the baggage I carried that it might scare you off. You yet called me for that second date the very next day, and my life has never been the same. You patiently pursued and gave up yourself to remind me that you did not see me as broken or damaged, but as something beautiful and worthy of so much love. I am the person I am today because of you and the way you love me fiercely and unconditionally. My darling, I intend to love you, even with all your silly dad jokes and punny jokes, to hold you even when the room's too hot and you don't want to snuggle, and to grow very old with you. These are my promises. Zach and I have a thing for pinky promises. Someone may say something, but nothing is set in stone or made for sure until that pinky promise is made. So today, I pinky promise to always be there when you have your troubled or bad days, and to remind you that I'm here as a listening ear. I pinky promise to be the most dependable person in your life, I'm not going anywhere. Pinky promise to never keep score, even when I'm clearly winning. I promise you that laughter will always be a commonplace in our home. But most of all, I pinky promise to be your true companion, always, for one lifetime with you can never be enough. You have taught me so many things, such as two people that are joined together with respect, trust, and open communication can be far stronger and happier than each other could be ever be alone. You are the strength I didn't know I needed. You are the joy I didn't know I lacked. Today, Zach, I choose to spend the rest of my life loving you. To you and all these things, I think you promise. My brother is the only man I know who comes off of a 14-hour shift and then finds time to spend with his beautiful wife. And then you have that vision of what's important, family, events like this is really like getting together, sharing your passions. Sarah did that with me starting off. She taught me how to play my first chord on a guitar. These people have never left focus of what's really important. This. They, whether it's family camping or, you know, long distance phone calls to distant relatives, they're there for you guys. And that's what's really important. But more than that, it's the love they have for each other. I may be half blind, but You'd have to really be blind to see that you two aren't made for each other. Oh. Oh.